What's good, man? It's the Mighty the Ruler. Y'all the Ruler Gang, and y'all already know what it is, man. I need y'all to hit that like button, man. Get this video up to 100 likes, man. We're gonna get into this big joke. Uh, it's Yo Gotti the King of Memphis type situation, man. But uh, hit that like button, man. Uh, get it up to 100 likes. That way we get this video out into the algorithms. Also, if you ain't a part of the gang, man, hit that subscribe button. What y'all waiting on, man? Join the gang, man. Quit playing with us, man. It's Gotti the King of Memphis, though. I seen something yesterday, and I said this in my video yesterday, that I've never seen before, coming from especially a rap artist. At the end of the day, when I first started covering a young Dolph situation, I had no idea that so many people in Memphis didn't like Gotti. Now, maybe I'm on the outside looking in and I'm just seeing a lot more people in support of Young Dolph and saying bad things about Yo Gotti. And maybe I just ain't seeing the, the people who actually really support Yo Gotti and his people. When Big Juke got knocked down, I seen a lot of people saying like, you know, long live Dolph, Dolphins all in my comments and stuff like that. And it kind of opened up my eyes to like, dang, maybe people in Memphis really don't like Yo Gotti. And, you know, we speculated on this funeral service and what was going to happen, this and that. You know, the funeral came and went, you know. And it was one of the craziest situations that I've ever seen for a rap artist. And what I mean by that is, like, I've never seen so much security at anybody's funeral that wasn't, like, the president. Speaking of presidents... There was a letter that came from Biden that was basically giving his condolences to Yo Gotti and the men's family for the passing of Big Juke. These are street people, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, these are people that's in the streets. I ain't talking about Gotti. I'm just saying the family, ex street people, Big Juke, one foot in, one foot out. The only other time I seen like this type of thing was when Nipsey passed, but we know what Nipsey was doing in the community. Nipsey wasn't still involved in the streets, like as far as like the politics of the streets and doing stuff in the streets. Like Nipsey was, that wasn't part of his thing. He was, you know, building STEM programs, stuff like that. Yo Gotti and his brother name has been at the center of the, the actual taking out of Young Dolph for like the last two, two and a half years at this point. And the president of the United States sends a letter that's read at the services. Yo Gotti showed not only that he has power, not only does he have the protection if he needs it, but he also showed why he's saying that he's the king of Memphis. You have people standing outside of the funeral with shoulder straps, you had helicopters flying over the funeral. You had police presence on every corner, every highway entrance and exit. You also had street goons there who had whatever they needed. As well as you had star-studded entertainers pop up and, and, and record executives show up at this man's funeral. Now, a lot of people got mad because I said that this family ain't scared. If the family was scared, they wouldn't have had it there. The, the actual protection, the security that was in place was not a show, to me, was not a sign of weakness. It was a sign of this is my reach. This is the power that I have. This is the, I can make a phone call and shut down the whole city. It was so bad that you had news reporters come out and say, why is there a fortress around this place, this, this, this church where they're having the services for... Yo Gotti's brother, Big Juk, when the when the taxpayers of Memphis can't get this same type of protection at their funerals. If he could if he could make that call, and I'm not saying that Jay-Z and Rock Nation wasn't involved in that call, but if he's able to make that call, what other type of calls can he make? I agree with AK 47. There will be no Rico with Yo Gotti's name involved in it. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. There will be no federal investigation of Yo Gotti. If there was, he's already been ruled out. I'm sorry. 
Yo Gotti is not going to get touched in this. I seen that little list floating around. I, it's going to be hard to get to Gotti. It's going to be hard to get to Gotti, man. Um, his brother was moving a lot different than he moved. And, you know, we see, like, he paid the call. He paid the ultimate cost for that. Some people are saying, like, he, he brought out all the security a little too late. Okay, well, sometimes you learn from your mistakes. You got up on me once. Won't be no next time. At this point, the key glocks and all these other people surrounding the PRE, they need to be concerned about their safety. And that's all I'm going to say on that. If I seen that yesterday and I'm on the other side of it, in my mind, I don't know where it's going to come from. I don't know if it's going to come from law enforcement. I don't know if it's going to come from private security. I don't know if one of these street goons going to pull up. I don't know who's going to pull up on me at this time. I'm paranoid. I'm shook. Because this man was able to call the entire Memphis. I mean, how many damn police officers is it in Memphis? Memphis ain't that big. I mean, it ain't a small city, but it ain't that damn big. Ha over half of the department was outside of Big Jim's funeral yesterday. They had snipers out there on the roof. Y'all be safe out there, man. You know, I'm going to just keep reporting on it, man. Y'all be y'all y'all be safe. Y'all do y'all's thing, you know, but y'all be safe, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mighty the Ruler. Y'all the Ruler Game, man. Hit that like, share, and subscribe, and click that notification bell. Gang.